face-to-face -face instruction, hybrid or distance. Yeah, it hasn't been an easy decision for districts, and while some districts have decided on a model, others continue to discuss the options. Yeah, new this morning, Aaron Field shares how some parents have decided to take matters into their own hands and found a way to make the plan work for their families. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, Josh and Alicia. So some school districts in the state have decided to start off with the hybrid schedules, and others are still on the fence with it. Even though the hybrid schedule is supposed to help keep students safe, it leaves many parents struggling with the decision of what to do with young kids who can't stay at home alone. However, a group of parents have created a system that will hopefully help with that. Taught her to be like, I was totally hoping that they would go back to school. I think that it's, especially for elementary kids, they need that socialization. I 100,000 million percent agree. Trisha Morell is a nurse in the area and Krista Schaefer works at a local animal hospital. Both of the mothers say they understand the importance of safety, but working full time and seeing the impacts this pandemic has had on their kids left them with many questions. Question Schaefer turned to social media for. Well, I put on Facebook asking, hey, all parents, I would like to know what you all are doing with this school year. How are you guys handling it? What's going on? And then I also put out a post, does anybody have a school pod that I could join? If you don't know what a school pod is, it basically gets a couple of families together, providing a school type atmosphere at a family's home, allowing kids to learn and socialize safely and effectively, and giving parents more wiggle room to make a living. My ultimate goal was to have six families because we could then, us parents could take one day off in the week on a certain day, like Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, um, and then every other week. We wouldn't have to take weekly. It's even something the kids are helping plan out. I like these school ruler, rulers and rules, mm -hmm. and it says no running, no yelling, raise your hand, tell a teacher, be kind, be safe, be nice, and line up and walk. Both parents understand everyone has their own opinion and the schools are doing what they think is best. But the social distance learning is something they feel isn't best for their kids or family. They say they will be following all CDC guidelines and taking the right precautions. And they do understand there are still risk involved. Happy, healthy, safe, and, and then also us parents can provide. But if it does happen, I mean, that's something that all the families that are signing up in this, that's something that we have to look at yeah, yeah. Um, and that we have to, but we're doing what's best for our family and for our children. We have to just do the best that we can. It, it's, there are risks. There's risks in everything. Um, Reporting in Bismarck for KX News, Aaron Fields. And they are still looking for two more families to join their learning pod. And they say, most importantly, they want to be able to help other parents who are thinking about starting one of their own. And Josh and Alicia, this is new for them. And they will be meeting on Sunday to talk about it more. And Krista says, if you're wanting to join their pod, you can always reach out to her on Facebook. But Alicia, you said you would consider this for Ayla, right? I th it's a great yeah. idea. I mean, if yeah, if they go to the hybrid, you know, Ayla's not at that point yet. But I think it's a great, a great idea and a great way to work with other families. And you know, keep the kids socializing. Yeah. So. Well, you know, as they say, uh, necessity is the mother of innovation. So there we go. I did, yeah, did you say that? Yes. All right. Thanks, Thank you very.